due to unfortunate events, the supply chain in aerospace is really disrupted. Whether we are talking about electronics, the lack of raw materials, or even the lack of skilled workforce, the flexibility is now required in any aspect of aerospace manufacturing. Therefore, the industry needs to leverage the true virtual twin of the factory, but also techniques like robotics, advanced manufacturing capabilities like additive manufacturing, in order to be much more agile in manufacturing. One of the disrupting forces that we see today in aerospace and defense is that the demand is highly fluctuating and it's causing a lot of trouble on the predictability of the production system, which is traditionally really rigid in aerospace. Today, there are three things we can do to get rid of this uh, rigidity and to adapt more quickly and with a better agility to the, to the fluctuating demand. The first thing is trying to find some ways to accelerate the qualification of new production systems in order to create more quickly uh, last-minute demand of parts that we could have. The second thing is the uh, supply chain digital twin capabilities that need to be really uh, adapted and, uh, and created in the aerospace and defense industry in order to be able to better anticipate the fluctuation of the demand and to adapt the supply. And the third one is probably my, my favorite, is to um, make digital enter into the factories, into the assemblies, in order to um, enable our industrial systems with robotics and new technologies to produce quicker and adapt our system and really accelerate the, 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 the way we produce. This is another um, force that is disrupting the, uh, the, the sector today. Um, in order to meet the customer demand, the design is evolving and what was before a very standard A320, for example, now becomes a variety of different possibilities and production lines need to adapt and need to be able to one day produce an A320 and the other day produce an XLR on the same line. And we need to have adaptable jigs, tools, humans, machines to this fluctuating design. And the recipe for this is the digital thread between engineering and manufacturing in order to be able to anticipate all the design change and to have a better anticipation and better preparation of the assembly lines to the fluctuating demand. Obviously, aircraft are becoming more and more complex. They are becoming systems of systems. In this age of increased complexity, we need to leverage model-based system engineering, ModSim and other massive simulation techniques in order to improve naturally the design of the future aircraft. In order to drive the sustainability agenda, the aircraft OEMs need to leverage virtual twin experience to develop new energy management system, whether this is the electrical vertical takeoff and landing aircraft or whether this is the hydrogen powered aviation. In order to develop these new capabilities within the aircraft, uh, new technologies are required. For example, eco-design, enabling to assess over the overall aircraft life cycle, the footprint of the design, manufacture and operations of the aircraft. Today, the design is made for weight, sometimes for cost, designed to cost, sometimes designed to manufacture, but not yet designed for sustainability. And it's really what is at stake tomorrow. And I think the digital thread can really bring the right information to the designer in order for him to make the right choice, not only in terms of weight, not only in terms of cost, but also in terms of carbon impact. Also, specific tools on simulations enable aircraft OEMs to be able to make sure that these new designs are appropriate and are driving the reduction to fuel burn in our industry.